In today's lessons we're going to look at the Magic 8 Ball again and it starts with the tilt switch. What we're going to be doing is we're going to grab the Magic 8 Ball, we're going to shake it and it's going to give us our answer. And the way we're going to do that is with a tilt switch. So we put a tilt switch on pin 8. The other side of the tilt switch simply goes to ground and we use a built-in pull up to pull it up high so we don't need any resistors we're using the built-in resistor it's just like using a button in that we can do a digital read and if it goes high then it's been tilted if it is not high then we just output blank so we can see that operating here now in the next example we're going to take that further by using an LCD and these 16 by 2 LCDs need a lot of pins and because of that I've provided an example that uses I2C instead. And I2C simply uses two data pins, ground and five volts. But these regular ones that don't have the extra chip on top, they need a great deal of pins. So make sure that the pins that you use are the same as what I've got here or modify it appropriately. And because these have a variable backlight we have a potentiometer on here so that we can set the backlight up and down depending on how much brightness you need so that's an extra complication on top with the i2c ones you don't really need to use that so again we check to see if the tilt switch has been activated but we've got the ability to set the cursor on this is line one cell one it starts at zero just like with an array and then we can wipe over that with some extra spaces at the end to wipe over it with zero zero again so we set the cursor at the top left and we overwrite it then when we have a message to display we can set the row to one and we can set it like that. Now, what we haven't done here is output the Magic 8-Ball messages. So we've got another example coming up with the Magic 8-Ball messages. This is simply taking what was output to the serial monitor and adding it to the LCD to make sure that your LCD is working. I'm using the built-in Liquid Crystal library if you have a special liquid crystal display from a branded liquid crystal, for example, if you get it from Adafruit, use theirs instead. Now the I2C version is very similar, it just has fewer wires and has a different way of setting up your LCD. So again I'm using the built-in I2C library and it's creating an LCD again but it's saying this is the I2C address. So I2C allows you to have a hundred different devices attached to your Arduino and with a different addressing scheme it can be even more than that. So this is the address of the device and it's saying it's a 16 column to row LCD. Again 16,2 it's got a init this time to start it off and the backlight is run through code instead of having that potentiometer but the rest is very much the same.
now we get to the magic eight ball we've got the 16 by 2 lcd and we've got the tilt switch i'm using the regular lcd again so all of these pins and it only has 16 characters on a row so i had to make sure that the messages all fit within that amount so i just did a little comment here to make sure that everything would fit and trim down the ones that were too long When it boots, it says question at uh, location zero zero. We read the tilt sensor, the tilt switch. And like in the example before, we pick a random response. We wait a bit, we answer, and then we wait five seconds just so you can see it and then if it's not tilted we say question we blank the rest of the line and we blank the second line and then we loop